Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Quest for Glory 1. Last we left off, a lot of fighting. A lot of combat. I also died. <laughs> a lot. You okay there? Yep. Alright. Oh, we come to the gates. Come in, come in! You may expect it! Baron von Spielberg awaits you in the castle! And in case you have somehow forgotten, yes, my brother Jesse is still in with us. I Yay! Forgot, I forgot to mention it before. So, excitedly inviting us in. Should we do the stables first? Uh, no. No? <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, raise them trumpets. I thought you weren't talking to me. Is this me? Yeah. Oh, okay. The Baron von Spielberg and the Baronet await you in the Great Hall. We Thanks, am gonna... Pierre. Oh. <coughs> Yay. Do you want me to do both of these guys? Yeah. Words cannot express the gratitude I have towards you. Not only have you freed the baronet from the enchantment and allowed my son to return to me, but you have renewed my hope that the curse may be lifted. My son, Baronet Barnard von Spielberg, also desires to acknowledge his indebtedness. <coughs> yes, yes, yes. Indebtedness. Thank you for correcting me. Barnard? <laughs> we, uh, that is, I... I am appreciative of your efforts upon my behalf. Furthermore, I understand you have rid our valley of a dangerous kobold magic user in order to free the Baronet von Spielberg. You risked your life to single-handedly defeat the foul spellcaster. You are a true hero, and I thank you. Bernard. I am pleased you managed to kill the kobold. I sincerely hope you will continue your valiant adventures in our land. If anyone can rid the land of brigands, it will be you. Someday in the near future, I can envision holding a ceremony in your honor and bestowing upon you the title Hero of Spielberg. Bernard. It would be nice if someone could finally defeat the brigands and claim the title. As you leave the castle tomorrow, you will receive the reward money I long ago posted for the safe return of my son, as a token of my thanks. As a reminder, that is 50 gold. Huzzah! You will, of course, be expected to dine with us and be our guest in the castle tonight. I mean, I wasn't going to say no, but if you're going to make it a royal order here... Do you have any questions? Uh, yeah. Like, what's with the we? Alright. Um, I don't think the castle is important. Do you think we should ask? Mm. We don't get many opportunities to get in and see this guy. Word. This castle has been in the family for two centuries now, as a gift from the King Siegfried III. Okay. Uh, hey, Baron, what's up, man? I am Stefan von Spielberg, 12th Baron of Spielberg Castle. Okay. Well, let's ask about the curse. That seems to be the really relevant thing to ask here. Curse! Curse! Some years back, I tried to force the ogress Baba Yaga to leave our valley, and she put a curse <coughs> upon me that I should lose everything I held dear. When I lost my daughter and my son... I lost all interest in living. My land suffered because I suffered. Now, though, with the return of my son, I trust the prophecy about you uh, is about to come true, thanks to you. Okay. Uh, so, Baba Yaga, what's she like? Is she hot? She's a bitch. <laughs> oh, sorry. I have attempted everything in my power to get her to go away. I fear it will take some kind of magic to to be able to counteract her magic. Hmm. And what's up with your daughter? Is she hot? 
She's a bit. Oh, my beautiful <laughs> little daughter was stolen away ten years ago by Baba Yaga's magic. She has never been found, despite all the searching that has been done for her. We haven't looked actually all that far, but we assume. I thought she was lost forever, but you have renewed my hope that I will again have her beside me. Okay. Hey, uh, so among the people that have gone missing, you don't seem terribly concerned about Yorick. What's up with that? Yorick was my court jester, a man of infinite jest. He went off to find my daughter, but alas, poor Yorick never returned. Ah ha ha ha, reference uh -huh. to, to Hamlet. Yeah. Mm. Alas, poor Yorick. I knew him, Horatio, a man of infinite jest. Hmm. Magic! I know very little about magic, much to my sorrow. Perhaps you should talk to the wizard Zara in town, or Erasmus on Zauberberg. We, we've, we've chatted. Yeah, we, we did that. What about your son? He seems to know some magic. Anyway, prophecy! The prophecy states, Come, a hero from the east, Free the man from in the beast, Bring the child from out the band, Drive the cursor from the land. Hmm. You entered here from the east, and you released my son from the form of a bear. I am certain you can fulfill the rest of it and remove this dreadful curse. I have no idea if my mic is picking up that cat meowing outside my door. Meow! <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, brigands, on that delightful note... If I had more guards, I'd wipe the brigands out myself now that I have my son at my side. It will take some time before this castle and land have recovered from my sorrow, so I still think it will take a hero to destroy the brigands. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I know that they have some kind of fortress at the far south of the valley, and I have heard rumors that they have set up an ambush for all that approach. Mm. Hmm. Hmm. It is also rumored that there is another way into their fortress, but I have no further knowledge about it. So, rewards, right? I mean, you're giving me, you're giving me the 50 coin today, but is there going to be other benefits? Because otherwise, you know, I'm totally outie. I have offered substantial rewards for the return of my son and my daughter, as well as for the leader and warlock of the brigands. Okay. There have o there have always been brigands around, but until the leader and, his and the warlock showed up a few years ago, they were not much of a problem. The leader seems to be a brilliant strategist who manages each raid with little loss. Once the leader is gone, I am sure the brigands can be easily defeated. Hmm. As if this valley hasn't been plagued with enough evil magic users... From what I have heard, his magic isn't powerful, but it is used effectively. Which is really, I mean, ultimately, even better. Um, to be able to use what little magic you have, but to the greatest effect, as opposed to simply being a powerful wizard that destroys everything. Hey, uh, you. What was up with that kobold? I rode off one morning with my men in search of monsters to fight. I got separated from my men when I came across the entrance to the cave. As I entered, the kobold ordered me to get out. I informed it that I was Baronet Bonnard von Spielberg, an heir to the lands and all within. This is the most passionately he's spoken so far. I ordered it to bow before me. Then it cast a spell upon me, and I remember very little after that. Well, you were a bear. Speaking of that... Uh, I would prefer not to talk about that. Uh, what's your opinion on brigands? I will soon lead the troops against the brigands and wipe them from this land. No, that's my job! You don't need the 50 coin! <coughs> I am Baronet Bonnard von Spielberg, heir to the lands and all within. Okay, um... You rehearse your award Rick acceptance speech. <laughs> to whom were you trying to speak? Uh, I guess um, the guards aren't important enough. The guards are not free to speak. 
Notice how our score is now 212? Yeah, we've done a lot of plot important stuff here. Um, do we just leave? Yep. There isn't a good. W there isn't a way to say goodbye. Nope. A servant is waiting for you outside to show you to your quarters. We will see you at supper later. Hmm, maybe. It's BYOB. I don't have... I do have healing potions. I don't think that counts. After a wonderful meal with the Baron and his son, a peaceful night's sleep in a feather-down bed, and a filling breakfast in bed, you are ready to go adventuring once more. And the doors close, and you cannot get back in there until later. Until a very specific point in the game. Well, after we've been spoiled rotten... <laughs> Time to clean the stables! I see you're back. Need some work? So you're just not going to acknowledge that I just saved your baronet or anything like that? Yeah, okay, fine. Good! Come in here and take a rake. Thanks for that really nice meal and saving, you know, I saved your son. Um, now I'm going to go uh, shovel some shit for you. Mm-hmm. For the <laughs> one tired old horse that you have. I don't pay you to rest. I'll get to work now. I don't think he does that. I think he does. Watch out for that big pile of cocaine. <laughs> okay, come on over here. Five silvers richer. All Five right. silvers! Wahoo! Our strength has gone up, as has our intelligence and our vitality. Yep, it's all looking pretty darn good, actually. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, oh, oh. What? You're just about to... Oh, you just ran through the cocaine! Well, at least it's only on the boots. I don't think Not I have... to say boots! Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Alright, so. <laughs> now that we have uh, rested. I think it might be a good idea to build up some of our strength again, I think, maybe, you think? Wait. Bye, Herf and Flurver. <laughs> Herf and Flurver. <laughs> Alright, you guys, I'm ready to take y'all on. Alright. This uh, will be a four fight. They only show, like, two standing at a time. Yeah, so. They only show the two waiting to... The fact that they all line up to fight you in an orderly fashion is pretty amazing. I wouldn't let's do that. All, let's not all attack them at once. Let's do it one at a time. Well, they are goblins. They're not known for their intelligence. Didn't get hit once. Damn. So I think these are all, yeah. Every They're single one the of same. them. Hmm? They're all the same. Yeah, whenever they, they collapse whatever position they're in is uh, how much money you can expect from each of them. Alright. Well. We didn't even get hit once that entire time. But we did... I'm not going to talk to the trees, come on. Uh, we did work down our stamina quite a bit. Um, yeah, you're going to want to take a potion if you're doing this again. Well, let's see. Let's try... I'm too impatient to rest. <clears throat> hmm. Alright, I've got eight vigor potions. Wasn't it seven <laughs> before? I was going to say, I'm pretty sure it was seven. <laughs> Whatever! <laughs> you now have ten vigor potions. <laughs> Maybe the other ones I bought earlier are going to spontaneously show up. I don't know. Anyway, we should be good to go for another round. Yeah. Yeah. We've got... Oh. What the... Um. The goblins seem to be... Uh, their their palates seem to be affected. Alright. Spam hit. Spam hit. That failed. Stab me, stab, stabby, stab. Wow, you really like hitting the shields. I do. It makes a fun sound. Cling! 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 Wow! 
stop with the shield. You're gonna die. So you notice, again, the stamina is the thing that you want to conserve the most here. Because these goblins aren't going to do much damage to you. This is really less of an exercise in, uh, you know, fighting itself. And more about making sure that you know how to parry. Well, th that you don't waste a lot of time. You don't waste your energy trying to fight these things. You just fight them and go. All right. That should probably be good enough for the goblins today. Yeah, so our strength has gone up. Weapon use. These are all things, especially as a fighter, that we definitely want to be boosting. Because there are a few different... Th I mean, th the emphasis, again, as a fighter is always that you... Um, that you fight. The others well, will have to uh, ha get... Sense. You get more points for fighting. Which, one of the things that they mentioned in that whole uh, spiel is, um... Lose your train of thought? No, well, a little bit. Is that uh, the Brigand Fortress has a front way and a back way. If you are a mage or a thief, you want to take the back way. If I recall correctly, however, as a fighter, you get more points for going in the front way. Um, nope. You don't get more points for it, it's just a different way. Okay. So then I'm going to go the way that I'm more comfortable doing anyway. Alright, um, so we've been told, at least a couple of times now, uh, where a certain someone might be. I think it's about time we start taking care of this curse. Looking around, you get the, the feeling that this is not a very friendly place to be. What was it? The skulls, or oh, want to take this, this guy? Me? Yeah. Baba Yaga does not welcome strangers. You have to deal with me before you can enter. Actually, later he ends up developing a, a New Englander sort of accent. Baba Yaga is one tough magic user. If you're <laughs> so stupid that you want to enter, perhaps we can make a deal. Well, you know the typical New Yorkish. All right. The large skull on the gate seems to stare vacantly at you. The skulls on top of the fence have eerily glowing eyes. The large skull on the fence seems to be stare blankly at you. I get no response from the other ones. All right, so what's your what's your deal, skull? Um, so, Baba Yaga, she a bitch? <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> Baba Yaga is the most powerful ogress around. If you have any brains, you'll stay away from her. Ogress? What's that? You're some hero if you don't even know what an ogre is. <laughs> that was actually the joke that I was making. What's that? And, eh, anyway. Baba Yaga's hut will squat if you say the rhyme. Okay. <clears throat> what is rhyme? The, hot will s <clears throat> the hut will squat if you say, hut of brown, now sit down. Now what's really funny is you get this information completely for free just talking with this skull right on the gate. But you have to pay two gold to get this information from Bruno. So don't don't buy the information from Bruno. He's useless in that regard. Anyway, uh, so um, what's this deal you're talking about? All the other skulls have glowing eyes, but me? No! I don't need lovely glowing eyes. Just open and close the gate. That's all I'm good for. But if you can give me a glowing gem for my eyes, then I'll let you in the gate. Huh. Well, is it a well, deal or isn't it? Yeah, sure, why not? I mean, we do need to get in there. We need to have a chat with this Baba Yaga. All I ask for is a little gem or jewel that glows in the dark. You're the big hero, so go find one. So remember that thing we did towards the very beginning of this playthrough where we gave the giant a whole bunch of fucking apples for no fucking reason and he gave us a gem for no fucking reason? Yeah. That's what this is for. Isn't it perfect? Woo! You pause to admire the way the gem glows with its own inner light. Alright. Well, if we appreciate it, I'm sure that Scully here will. You place the glowing gem inside the skull. I can see! I have eyes again! Yeah, is that what you look like? 
Oh well, have fun visiting Baba Yaga and uh, good luck. You'll need it. I hope you can remember the rhyme. So the funny part is that if you didn't get that information about the rhyme from him before this happened, you don't talk to him again. Mm -hmm. And before you pull the hut down, you don't want to do this. Yeah. Oh, by the way, uh, I'm going to save just to show you what he's talking about. Um, you want to talk to the hut first, because otherwise... Let's see, we go in here, and then talk to it? Oh, well, I thought you got squashed by it. If you say the rhyme right there, you do. Oh, yeah. So, since I saved it... You hear a voice in your head asking, What is the rhyme? Um, the alien from Venus? Really? Uh, uh, yeah, how to brown. I'll sit down. Oops. Bad strategy. You really brought down the house. Too bad you were under it at the time. Well, that's good timing. Yeah, so, first you call it down. No, I mean, it's good timing as in, we need to be done. We need to be done? Already? But, it, anyway, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's right. It's time to cut the video here. So I hope to see you on the next installment of Let's Play Quest for Glory 1, where we enter the Hut of Brown. Hope to see you then. Um, okay, bye.